Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so this is my second tutorial, and I decided to do a face tutorial because my first one was a wreck. This time I won't be doing Cordelia. I'll be doing her sister Willow. There she is. Um, here's a better image of her. <laughs> so here I start off. I'm gonna show you how to do the face, you know, and you're looking direct at it. Okay, so you can see me, I'm doing something like a square, rectangular sort of shape. You can see it's like, um, I would say it's a square, more like a square here. Um, now I'm doing some guidelines. I don't know if this is appearing on, on camera or not. Okay, um... Now you can see I've did the guidelines. This guideline here, this one is for me to uh, divide the, pa the face into half. Here's one and the other one. This one is for the chin. Okay, um, so I did this line, so I'm going to do the chin triangular lines. Or you can see that I'm starting to do the other half of the face, which is including the chin. Okay, so I'm doing a female's face, and uh, for me, I do females and males quite a different bit. For me, I do males with a bit of a chin um, to give them a more muscular look. Uh, maybe I'll do that in another video and show you how to do it. Okay, um, just adjusted the camera so the image will be a little better. Okay, so... After I did the guidelines, I'm going to do the neckline. Now the neck here, it sort of, um, it differs from one anime creator to the other. Uh, some anime creators, or some manga creators, do really thin neck, a neck, sorry, I'm sorry, ne neck. Such in Lucky Star, the neck is extremely thin. And some others do it like in a realistic shape, like in Naruto. The neck is extremely uh, realistic, you know, the same uh, human measurements or the same human anatomy. It sort of differs from one artist to the other. I think mine is not a bit um, anatomic or, I don't know, you know, it's not a bit what you would expect in the real thing, in the real life. But I think it does work in a way. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into detailing more than that. Uh, a piece of advice, you should use something like an edge pencil or <clears throat> a lighter pencil because you don't want to you, the lines to appear in your drawings. Okay, so I'll be doing the hair. And the hair of Willow. For me, I do sides again. You can see that I'm doing um, this, like this. And hair can really come in different forms and shapes. It really depends on your what you want. Um, here, I just want to show you Willow's hair. This is how I did Willow's hair, so you just have a good image about what I'm doing. Okay, so um, you can do a spiky hair or a leaf hair or anything you'd like. It sort of really depends <clears throat> on your style and what you like in, or what type of hairstyle you really do like. For example, the Yu-Gi-Oh hairstyle is definitely out of this world. Um, you would see that there's no one, no real human can do like the crazy Yu-Gi-Oh hairstyle or the Jaden Yuki hairstyle. So yeah, it's a bit out of this world. Um, Naruto's hairstyle is really nice, simple. Also kind of fair to do. It's not hard. It's actually a lot of fun to do the spiky-haired Naruto. Um, other characters too you can, if you like like simple hairstyles, you can suppose to check Shigukara. Uh, you're gonna love the hairstyles of those characters. Amo, which is the lead character in Shigukara, does appear with so many hairstyles. So 
So if you're interested to see something with uh, or a character with many hairstyles, you should go and check Shigu Kara. So I know, um, my hairstyles is a bit weird. <laughs> but everyone does has his own style of drawing. Okay, so here she is. That's her hairstyle. That's well as her style. Okay. I'm done with the hairstyle. Now let me erase the other lines that I don't need. Then we're ready to do a nice manga face. I think this one's gonna be much better than my first video. <laughs> what we got so far. Um, this is just the hair and the face. And as I said before, I did one before, but it wasn't that very much good, so I decided to do another one. And I decided to show you how to do this step by step, and that's why it's taking quite a while to get the, uh, you know, the thing, the whole thing right. So yeah, if you're asking me about this guideline I'm doing here, this is for the eye, because normally I'd be doing one for the eye, and this one here, as I showed you, to show where the chin will go. This also one is for the nose, and here is the one for the mouth. Okay, so let's start off with the eyes. Okay, so there is. Um, different ways to do manga eyes. For me, I created my own manga mix. Okay, you can see here that I'm starting to do this um, eye. Um, I can do a whole video on how to draw eyes because it's definitely something that could take just more than one video and I can teach you how to create your own manga eyes and your own manga style if you're into all the whole manga design thing. Um, basically, anyways, my eye style is not the, the sort of like the big type. I don't really like big eyes. I, I find it a bit freakish. I don't like, you know, the eyes that looks uh, that big like Pokemon eyes. I found them really freakish. And they're not easy to do. For me, I don't know how to do that. I like medium eyes, such as Naruto eyes, really nice. Uh, Naruto's eyes is really one of my favorite eyes to draw. There are a lot of easy eyes to do. And they're medium as I like also. Uh, not big, not freakish. Okay, so I'm done here. So you can see here that my, in this character, the eyes of the character are a bit squared looked. They're, they're a bit bent from here, or, you know, they're not coming in a straight line, they're just coming down a bit. Then you can see how I did this. Now, I, I do like to leave a space here. I don't know, it's one of the manga effects um, that I find. It's very an interesting effect. Okay, so I'm right now I'm doing here uh, the eyes, completing it with here. Okay, I'm not going to go into a lot of detailing in the eyes because for me, uh, eyes really does tell a lot about a person and eyes can definitely give a personality a whole different sort of view. I mean, you can show the character sad by their eyes or happy from the sparkle of their eyes. Really, eyes that does tell a lot about the character that you're doing here. So I'm just doing a basic eye normally. Uh, I did the apple of the eye, and now I'm just just giving it a bit of more of a 3D effect. Here's a tip for you: if you like to give your eyes a bit of a a bit of more like a 3D effect, try to make the upper part of the eye a bit darker. Some anime or manga creators, I found that they do this part black, and then this part or the other part like a bit darker, and then they use the light color. And for me, I just like to uh, do the upper half in a darker color in the down half in a, and into into the color that I'm going to be using for the eyes. Anyways, um, here's the eyebrows. Just a bit thicker because, you know, she has a big face, so if I give her like a straight line eyebrow, she's going to look weird. There we go. Here is the second eye, or the other eye. It can't be that much perfect, but um, 
trying to do it the same way. Okay, um, so in your manga artist, you can't expect everything to be like the exact thing, but you can get like 90% of exact exactness, I don't know, or you can have like, uh, you know, they really do like each other, but they have some differences. I really find it hard to make two eyes look exactly the same. Anyways, because of the length of the video, I don't have like much time. I'm just gonna be erasing here the guidelines and all that. Okay, um, so I'm gonna be moving on to do the nose. Okay, I did have the... I, I sort of have like some of parts of the guidelines. So I know where I'm gonna complete my drawing. Um, anyway, now here's the easy, really easy part. First, uh, I do a mouth first. Let's say she has a nice smiley mouth. There we go, she's nice and smiling and, um, uh, oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna modify the smile a bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the nose. Okay, so I did the nose in this way because I really like the whole idea of the face carrying such simple features. Um, you know, I don't want it to be too complex. Some others just put the nose like this. Um, and you can see that in stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh and all that, but I don't really like it. It's much easier this way. Some others just do like a small something like this. And like in Witch, if you're reading Witch comics, they would do the nose like this. Or, and sometimes you can see that in Wink too. Um, anyway, this is, uh, this is the way for me to do a nose. So here you have it. Manga face. In a much, much better way. I hope that you have found this video quite uh, useful for you. And I think I'll be doing next time a uh, manga boy face. So I can show you the difference between a manga girl and a manga boy face. So yeah, in, in my, in my uh, world or my manga, it's uh, guys who have different sort of face features than girls. And I don't normally give them, them the same, I, you know, the same... Um, I don't know, features. I, I give the guys different features and the guys and the girls different features, so there will be a lot of differences between them. Anyways, hope you can find this video a bit um, helpful to you guys out there for anyone who is trying to make a manga character. And if you do want to have some help in something in a certain part of the body, please do ask me or send your uh, questions on my... Um, on my YouTube channel, and I'll be I'll try to do it because I can promise I, I can do everything. I'm still learning a lot about drawing, and I hope that uh, I can learn more and more so I can help you guys. So please do send me your stuff or your questions, and I'll try to to answer you. Okay. So, hope you can revisit my channel soon, and I promise I'll be doing other manga tutorials and other stuff, so please uh, wait for me, and please do check my Mystic Star videos that's kind of come up. I'm currently working on this manga, and I'm not really done yet. It's really hard to get it done when you're in college, and you have, like, so many stuff to take care of, like, exams and quizzes and, you know, projects. So, yeah. <laughs> Please do uh, check my video or check my channel every once in a while and I promise you you're going to find some good stuff I think that will be helpful for you. So thanks and bye.